Many of you may wonder, how does one find themselves caught in the relentless whirl of addiction? It all begins with what we call activating events. These are moments in life, monumental or minuscule, that set off a cascade of uncomfortable emotions. Maybe it's a tough day at work, a heated argument with a loved one, or the loss of someone dear. The magnitude of the event doesn't matter. It's the emotional upheaval that it triggers that truly counts. These emotions, they're not easy to deal with. They're like storm clouds, heavy and ominous, hanging over your head, casting a shadow on your entire world. And when you're under this cloud, there's a deep-seated desire to escape, to find a way out of the gloom. The urge to escape these uncomfortable emotions is strong, and it's here that the cycle takes an unfortunate turn. Before we continue this video, if you're finding this video helpful, or perhaps it's resonating with you or someone you know, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Your support allows us to continue creating in-depth content like this, shedding light on the nuances of addiction and the journey to recovery. Remember, you're not alone in this storm. By engaging with our content, you're joining a community of understanding and support. So hit that like button, subscribe, and let's weather this storm together. Now let's continue. The need to flee from our feelings, to find some sort of solace can lead us down a dangerous path. Imagine this. You're in a storm, rain pelting down, thunder roaring, and all you want is to find shelter, a place to hide from the chaos. This is how it feels when uncomfortable emotions are triggered by life events, big or small. You may find yourself turning to maladaptive coping mechanisms like isolation or excessive behaviors as a means to escape. It's like finding a temporary shelter from the storm. It may seem to work at first. You might feel a sense of calm, a momentary relief from the emotional downpour. But here's the catch. This shelter is not built to withstand the storm. It's just a temporary solution, a momentary respite. Over time, the storm gets stronger and the shelter begins to crumble. But this relief is fleeting, and for individuals with addiction, these coping mechanisms eventually fail. The failure of these coping mechanisms is where addiction rears its ugly head. When life's trials become too heavy a burden, individuals often resort to maladaptive coping mechanisms. They seek to escape from the pain, the fear, the stress, the uncomfortable emotions that life sometimes throws at us. But the relief is fleeting a mirage in the desert of reality. These mechanisms you see, they're like patches on a leaky boat, providing temporary respite, but inevitably giving way. And when they do, the individual falls back into the grip of their addiction. This is the cyclical nature of addiction, a cruel loop where the need for escape drives individuals deeper into the clutches of their vice. But this fall, it's not just a physical act. It's an emotional plummet as well. It's like being trapped in a whirlwind of despair, with every turn intensifying the storm. And with relapse comes a new wave of emotions, shame and guilt. The guilt and shame that follow a relapse can be crushing, serving as a catalyst to dive deeper into the cycle. Imagine being trapped in a whirlwind of regret, where every misstep feels like a weight pulling you further into the abyss of your own remorse. It's a heavy burden to bear this guilt. It can feel all-consuming, overpowering even the strongest resolve. And here lies the tricky part. This guilt, this shame, they can serve as an excuse to indulge in the addiction even more. It's a twisted logic, isn't it? The very thing you're trying to escape from becomes the reason you dive deeper. It's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. This is the vicious cycle of addiction. It's a relentless loop that feeds on your weaknesses, amplifying your guilt and pushing you further into its clutches. But remember, there's always a way out, a way to break the cycle. Breaking free from the cycle of addiction may seem impossible, but it's not. It starts with a spark, a moment of self-realization, or perhaps an intervention from someone who cares. This is the turning point, the crossroads where one decides to take a step towards change. The process of breaking the cycle isn't about merely stopping the addictive behavior. It's about uncovering the root cause of the addiction the activating events and emotions that act as triggers. It's about understanding that the need to escape these emotions led to unhealthy coping mechanisms. Treatment is an essential part of this journey. 
It provides the tools to manage these challenging emotions in a healthy way without resorting to harmful behaviors. It's about learning new coping skills like mindfulness, deep breathing, or even just talking to someone who understands. And remember, it's okay to ask for help. Reach out to professionals, join support groups, lean on loved ones. You are not alone in this journey. There are countless others who have walked this path before you and there will be many who follow. But it's not just about stopping the addiction. It's about learning to live a new way of life. It's about replacing the old, harmful habits with new, healthy ones. It's about rediscovering joy, love, and purpose. It's about reclaiming your life and your identity. Treatment and recovery are not just about stopping the addiction, but about learning to live a new way of life. Having decided to break the cycle, the next step is daunting, but essential. It's time to take a leap of faith. This involves acknowledging the reality of your situation and accepting the need for change. This acceptance is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and resilience. It's about embracing the uncertainty of change, knowing that the road ahead may be difficult, but is necessary for your recovery. This leap of faith is not a solitary act. It's backed by the support of your loved ones, your therapists, your support groups. They are your safety net, ready to catch you, ready to help you navigate through this journey. It's about trusting in their guidance, their expertise, and their unconditional support. This leap of faith is not about jumping into the unknown. It's about taking a calculated risk, armed with the knowledge and tools you've gained during treatment. It's about trusting in your ability to change, to grow, to heal. It's about believing in your potential to reclaim your life from addiction. It's about having faith in yourself. So take that leap. Embrace the change. Trust in your strength. Believe in your capacity to heal. You are stronger than your addiction. You are not defined by your past mistakes, but by your willingness to change and grow. Remember, recovery is not a destination, but a journey. And every journey begins with a single step, a leap of faith. So, are you ready to take that leap? Recovery is not a destination, but a journey. A journey that begins with understanding the activating events that trigger those uncomfortable emotions. Be it a stressful workday, a family argument, or even a simple change in routine, it's crucial to identify these triggers and learn how to navigate through the emotional landscape they create. Next comes the task of managing those emotions. It's not about suppressing or ignoring them, but acknowledging their presence and expressing them in a healthy way. This could be through meditation, exercise, journaling, or simply talking to a trusted friend. Remember, it's okay to feel what you're feeling. Emotions are not enemies, but signals alerting us to what's really going on inside. Developing healthy coping mechanisms is the third pillar of recovery. Instead of resorting to isolation or excessive behaviors, we can choose to engage in activities that nourish the soul and the body. Perhaps it's painting, reading, playing a musical instrument, or gardening. Whatever it may be, these activities provide a constructive outlet for emotions, leading to a sense of fulfillment rather than regret. And finally, understand that recovery is a lifelong process. There will be setbacks, there will be challenges, but each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. It's a journey worth embarking upon. A journey towards a life free from the chains of addiction. You don't have to stay trapped in the cycle of addiction. There is hope, there is help, and there is a way forward. Before we end this video, we have a small request. If you found this content helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with others who might benefit from it. Your support helps us create more content like this and reach more people who are on their own journey to recovery. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we post new content. It's a simple gesture, but it can make a big difference, not just for us, but for those who are seeking help. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and goodbye.